Hi guys, this week I wanted to talk a little bit about what to do to get inspired a little bit because as creative people it's very difficult to continuously output stuff without feeding and intaking things. So I'll take you along this painting that was done in Procreate um, some time ago. I'm not really sure uh, when I finished it. I think it's like a year old now but I really liked this piece and I thought it kind of had to do with the topic at hand so um, let's get to it. First, the technical aspects of this piece. I'm using the iPad Pro. It's a 10.5 from 2017. Of course, the Apple Pencil and Procreate. So creativity or inspiration is a tricky thing. It really feels like as a creative, you can only put out so much before the wells run dry. But fortunately, there are a ton of things that you can do and work into your regular practice that will help keep the juices flowing and hopefully eliminate or um, minimalize the times where it's just not happening for you. As someone who works in the creative field and depends on that kind of creativity, this is something I constantly have to deal with. So it is very, very important that I don't just continuously try to output stuff because that's an easy way, a very quick way to get burnt out. And when you get burnt out, I find that it's even harder to like get back on track. So you definitely have to find a balance in your life to keep that creativity going and stay inspired by the world around you. So some of the things that people like to do, including myself, are to um, feed, your, feed your spirit by doing things outside of your creative output. Uh, appreciate other people's arts go to museums, go enjoy nature, um, go to places that are busy, see your friends, um, have good conversations. All of these things, whether you really think it is or not, help to feed your creativity because you're bound to take all these things, chew them up, and spit them out in different ways that it's going to affect what you make. It's going to inspire you um, whether you're aware of it or not. A lot of it can be subconscious, but um, you might see some colors in nature that you like and it may turn into a palette for you. Watching shows that you like could also be a nice way to recharge. The thing about all of this is though you have to be careful as to not waste a lot of time just consuming, consuming, consuming. Uh, you want to get enough of this stuff to where it helps give you ideas but not waste all the time that you could be using to actually produce things uh, you don't want to use it as a crutch or an excuse but it is definitely helpful one other way to kind of get recharged or just get a little bit influenced is of course reading reading is an excellent thing to do to help inspire you to actually force you to imagine some things i like it because you're not given everything um, for, for me, being a visual artist, when you're reading, you really do start to create pictures in your head of what these characters might look like or the scenes, what they might be. So I think that is a, a really nice way to get inspired for illustrative purposes, but it doesn't have to just end there. I'm sure that um, any writer or lyricist can find inspiration in the written word as well. So speaking of reading, one of the stories that I constantly come back to, I've read several times throughout my life uh, and have always loved, of course, is Alice in Wonderland. I have shared many illustrations that I've done over the years of the characters and scenes from that book. I try not to do it like the Disney version because I want to put my own mark on it. Uh, and the story itself is just so wild and imaginative. I really, really love it. It is like just one big crazy dream and I love dreams. And so this is right up my alley. And this is another rendition here. I was not only inspired by the story of Alice in Wonderland, but this version of Alice was really heavily inspired by um, Japanese idols. But since this picture was drawn so long ago, I don't remember exactly which music idol um, directly inspired this. I think it was Kiari Pamu Pamu, one of the people to kind of inspire this. She has a wild style of her own and I think she's adorable. I think a big problem we have with creativity, and I know for sure I'm guilty of it myself, is thinking that you have to be inspired or 
be feeling creative in order to produce art. That is absolutely not true. And if you were to talk to any professional, um, they could tell you that for themselves as well. It, that would be impossible. We would go through such long bouts of not making anything if we operated in this way. So even if you're not feeling inspired, it doesn't mean you can't or shouldn't work on some art um, because sometimes just showing up and doing some technical exercises, drawing a page full of hands or eyes or something else you're not very good at, um, a little bit of those kind of exercises can actually unlock the doors to that creative output and it's also a fun challenge so you can also try things like pull up a book and do some bibliomancy and pick like the third paragraph and try to illustrate it in some way or take a favorite character and try to do a mashup and um, some kind of twist on it so that you're not doing just a direct copy of any given work these are creative exercises that you don't have to feel particularly inspired or creative to execute and the more that you do these kind of things the easier it gets to produce whenever you want to it's really like a practice a muscle that you constantly have to flex another thing i find hugely inspiring is to learn new techniques and or just refine aspects of art that you already maybe know but aren't as comfortable with or don't feel particularly adept at. As someone who's creative, and it doesn't matter what field you're in, I think this holds true for anyone, uh, it is really lovely to check out other people's work, um, whether or not it's in your style, because it, at least for me, really hypes me up and makes me want to create more art as well. That's all for this week, guys. If you like this image, it is available as a print in various sizes on my website, ashtonkaylee.com. Just hit the shop link and you can find this and more pieces available for purchase. Happy painting and see you next week. Mm -hmm.